What is going on guys? It's Constable Chen coming back at you with another video. In today's video, we are in week 10 with this connected franchise with the San Francisco 49ers. I left things off with you guys to leave comments on a quarterback in free agency to pick up. So Jonathan Olsen and Eric Wright both say pick up Kevin Hogan. And Cody Ross and Noah King say Hackenberg. Um, he's got a very strong arm. Slow development though. So I'm going to pick up Hackenberg and also Kevin Hogan. Probably going to cut Thad Lewis and Christian Ponder. And also Brandon Davis also had some good suggestions, but all those players, you know, it, we're past trade block. I can't acquire any of those players. This Whatever was in Fridency is what we have to deal with. So Christian Ponder, going to just straight up cut him. Really don't care if there's a cap hit. I just don't, don't like him at all, or a cap penalty, I mean. And then Thad Lewis, he's not on here, so I just got to go cut him quick. And then I'm probably going to start Hogan. He is the higher overall over Hackenberg. He's got pretty decent speed, 80 speed, 84 acceleration, so he is pretty mobile. Not the biggest arm, but uh, kind of a more of a West Coast guy, which is, is what I kind of like. But also like a strong arm guy like Hackenberg. Once you improve that throw accuracy, because he's got the the big time arm, just got to improve that accuracy, and he should be pretty good. So I'm gonna release Thad Lewis. Then we are gonna jump into our Week 10 game. All right, looks like my defense forced a interception. I'm taking the ball in m pr pretty deep in my zone at my 11 yard line. So I would like to get this drive, my first drive, end in points. As I say that, I think that was Kim Dichie who just blew things up in the backfield. On this play, I'm going to try out Kevin Hogan at quarterback. I think Kansas City drafted him. Also, Hackenberg, I think the Jets drafted him. Um, but I think Hogan actually plays for Cleveland now. I'm not, not too sure about that. I'm going to throw it up here to number 14. Is that uh, Tyreek Hill? Because he got... No, it's Antonio Brown, number 84. Very good player. I think he's 99 overall. And... First and 10, Hogan, shotgun, turns, hands off to David Johnson, who slips a tackle, but was only able to pick up four yards. Second and seven after that three-yard run by David Johnson. Kevin Hogan finds Antonio Brown over the middle, who was able to pick up a first down. First and 10 on Arizona's 40-yard line. Hogan gets the snap, throws it to Ebron. Kevin Minter with a shoestring tackle, but Ebron was able to bring it all the way down to the 17-yard line. First and 10, Hogan in the backfield with David Johnson beside him, looking to throw a slant, finds Antonio Brown over the middle, picks up 11 yards and a fresh set of downs. Now we are first and goal at the 6-yard line, running some routes over the middle, hopefully trying to find Ebron, who is right there, and slips Kevin Minter's tackle. That is Hogan's first career touchdown pass, and he throws it to the big target, Ebron, over the middle, and I take a 7-0 lead to start off this game. Arizona's possession after my touchdown resulted in a field goal, so I have a 7-2-3 lead with uh, this is the last play of the first quarter and looks like I have three rushes for negative three yards not the way I would like to start running the ball but that is gonna do it for the first quarter second quarter is underway with a second and 12 coming up gonna run a run to David Johnson who was not able to find any yards the front seven of that Cardinals defense really keeping me in check third and 12 running a three tight end set Hogan takes the snap, throws it to Ebron over the middle, was able to get some separation in that zone coverage, picks up a first down on the play. First and 10 on my 47-yard line, Hogan under center, looking to throw it to Y, and that is the rookie Coleman. Oh, that is a late hit, late shot to the head. There should be a flag on the play, but this is Madden, and a lot of goofy stuff happens, but you see Corey Coleman jump up over the Honey Badger, come down with it. Nice catch. First and 10 on Arizona's 27-yard line. Going to run it right up the gut with David Johnson. Picks up five yards on that first down run. Second and five on the 22-yard line. Get the snap. Looking to throw it. Antonio Brown, maybe, but it's picked off by the Honey Badger in the end zone. Not the best to shizzen by me. Trying to throw it to the superstar Antonio Brown, but picked off by a very good player. 
the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. My offense is going to start off on my 27-yard line. Cardinals were unable to get a touchdown after I threw that interception in the end zone to the Honey Badger. And I'm going to hand it off to Johnson on first down for only a gain of one. Really not having any success running the ball thus far this game. So on second and nine, looking to throw it. Looking Looks like, oh, wow, that was a terrible throw. I was throwing it to B. Tyreek Hill over the middle, but he threw it way to the left. And Tyron Matthew already has his second interception of this game. Arizona cashed in on that good field position after I threw that interception to the Honey Badger. So I'm going to try to throw it to the speecher Tyreek Hill. Patrick Peterson dives to make the tackle. And Tyreek Hill, no one is going to catch this guy. Fastest player in Madden 17 after the newest update. And he is flying his way into the end zone. And now it is going to be 14-10 to 10 with 2.41 left in the second. I get the ball back on my two-yard line, so they pin me very deep. So I'm just going to run it with Johnson. Should have just went north and uh, instead of east-west. Going to lose a yard. And that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. Second and 11 on my one yard line. We are pinned deep. I'm going to sling it. But the Honey Badgers there could have his third pick of the game. But unfortunately, or fortunately, goes incomplete. Third and 11. Like to pick up this first down. I am deep in my end, so I do not want to make a mistake. Ebron, the big tight end, my go to target, picks up 19 and a first down. First down on my 20 yard line, take the snap, going to throw a little curl route to the speedster Tyree Kill, able to pick up 12 yards and a first down. First and 10, clock is running, I still got three timeouts, so I'm not too worried, just going to run it with David Johnson, try to get some positive yards here on first down. Second and 6, I used my first timeout on that last play, Kevin Hogan, the rookie, is under center out of Stanford, takes the snap. Looks downfield. Nobody really open, but he's got that good mobility. Unable to find David Johnson coming out of the backfield, though. Third and six. 56 seconds left until halftime. Take the snap. CRB, that is the rookie Coleman, and he is going to pick up a first down, and that keeps this drive going. First and 10 on the Cardinals, 47. Take the snap. Going to dump it a little curl pat or a drag route to Antonio Brown. Going to call a hurry up, and we are going to run some four verticals. See if we could find a soft spot in this defense. Looks like they're probably going to be playing zone. So I'm going to see if maybe A is going to be open. That was a terrible throw by Hogan, but does stop the clock. Third and five. 29 seconds left. I don't think I'm in field goal range. So I would like to try to pick that up. Oh, I should have threw it way earlier to Ebron there. Pass goes incomplete. I'm on the 42-yard line. I'm going to see what the computer says. They say punt it, so I'm out of field goal range. Just going to punt it away, and that, this should take us to halftime. I get the football to start the third quarter. Like to establish more of a run game, but they've been really bottle bottling me up for either short or no gain. Oh, I had Ebron there over the middle trying to find the big tight end on first down, but pass goes incomplete. Second and 10, running that same three tight end set. Going to be running a counter play to David Johnson. See if I could get a first down, and I do. Finally, a run that works. Picks up 11 yards and a first down. First and 10 in that same three tight end set. I really like this formation. Going to be dumping it off to Hunter Henry over the middle. A rookie tight end that I picked up from San Diego. Good pickup and a first down. First and 10, we are in the Cardinals territory now on their 48-yard line. So Hogan takes the snap. Looks like he's going to have his tight end there. Ebron was not able to shake the tackle, but picks up a good chunk of yards down to the 31-yard line. First and 10 on the 31, Hogan is going to be handing it off, but met by Chandler Jones for a short gain. Now we are faced with a second and nine, going to run the same play, but looks like Chandler Jones is running free in that linebacking core, making all the plays. 11 rushes for 19 yards, not a good day on the ground for David Johnson. Third and nine, Hogan in the backfield by himself in shotgun, takes the snap, looks downfield. Oh, not a... Good decision by me, and it wasn't Hogan's fault there. Pass goes incomplete. 47-yard field goal attempt. See if I could punch it in here. That's probably going to be missed. 
because I suck at doing field goals. Hits the bar, goes out. Phil Dawson missed a field goal. Well, it's not even his fault. It's my fault. Arizona takes the lead with a touchdown. 17-14 to is your score. Honey Badger could have had his third interception of the game because Hogan let that ball sail on him there on first down. Second and 10 on my 25. Hogan takes the snap. Looks downfield. Looking to A over the middle. Takes a big hit by the Honey Badger, but first down on the play. Second and 10, going to call an audible to a run. See if we could have a little success. Looks like David Johnson finds a hole. Can he get it in the end zone? Marcus Cooper misses the shoot steering tackle. Johnson flips his way in the end zone. Biggest run of the day. Finally, we could bust one 55-yard touchdown run by Johnson. 30 seconds left in the third quarter. Arizona unable to score on that possession. So I'm going to throw it to Ebron. Linebacker just dives. Looks like the Honey Badger might be able to catch me. No, he doesn't. Ebron, one of my favorite tight ends in the league out of North Carolina. 750 yards receiving already this season in week number 10. And we take a 28-17 to 17 lead. Looks like my defense caused a turnover. Seven seconds left in the third, and I'm on their 13-yard line. They're playing some man coverage. Dumping off to Hunter Henry, rookie tight end, who picks up a couple yards, and that is going to do it for the third quarter. Starting the fourth quarter, we are on the Cardinals' six-yard line, second and three. Going to run a counterplay to Johnson, who cuts it upfield. Goes untouched for his second rushing touchdown of this game. Got the ball back after the Cardinals' possession. They were unable to score. My defense really has been playing pretty good. So I'm going to run a Wildcat play to the speedster, Dre Archer. I always like putting him there because he could bust it out to the outside. Picks up nine yards on first down. Now we have a second and one in the Wildcat again. You're going to try the same play to the other, other side, see if we could have any sort of success. Looks like the linebacker might mean be there. That is Manti Teo, who I guess was a... Frequency signing. I'm not sure where the Cardinals got him from, but now third and inches. Tail really uh, kept up with Dre Archer, cut down the angle and tackled me for a short gain. So now is third and inches. Looks like man coverage going to audible out of that run. Take a shot because this linebacker, not sure who he is, can't cover Ebron. We're shit because Ebron is torching him this game. First down. Now we have a second and nine, 425 left in the fourth quarter, and I totally messed up there. Pressed a wrong button. Kevin Minter with a very easy interception. That is his third interception of the season. Cardinals get the ball on their 40-yard line and take over. Third and 13 now, looking to throw. See Tyreek Hill beat that press coverage and picks up a big first down all the way down to the 19-yard line. First and 10 on the 19, looking to throw. See a Drager wide open. Antonio Brown is blocking in the end zone, and I will walk in to the end zone. Kevin Hogan with another touchdown pass this game. Cardinals add another touchdown, but is uh, too late. 42-31 with 56 seconds left in the game. is going to put this game out of reach. They're going to be using their timeouts, but I'm just going to be running, running it each play. If I get a first down, uh, that should put this game out of reach. So I'm just going to be doing the same play up the middle. Get Hopefully O-line gets to the second level. Looks like I was able to pick up a first down, and that should all but do it. On the final play of the game, David Johnson found, found a hole. I wasn't expecting to get a touchdown, but get a touchdown with the last play of the game. That is David Johnson's third touchdown of this game. And that is going to do it. We won against the Cardinals, picked up Kevin Hogan, the rookie out of Stanford, and he played pretty decent. Most of those interceptions were my fault anyways, but his accuracy is not that good. Some throws really got away from him. So I'm going to skip this and we will just look at his stats and then that is going to do it for this episode. So Hogan was 20 of 31 for 461, four touchdowns, three picks. Like I said, I think two of those picks were probably my fault. One of them was just uh, an error on his part. Rushing started off so slow but had a big second half of play. David Johnson, 22 carries for 128 and three touchdowns. So he had a very good game. 
And then receiving, Ebron, seven catches for 174, two touchdowns. He's been my go-to target thus far this season. Antonio Brown had four for 66. Tyreek Hill had three for 116 and a touchdown. And Aaron Burnbridge had two for 39 and a touchdown. Hunter Henry, two for 22. Corey Coleman, two for 44. Defensively, looks like Ray Ray Armstrong led my team with nine tackles. I'm guessing there's an injury. At, oh, yeah, I think Shazier's injured at middle linebacker for a couple more weeks. A um, couple guys tied at eight, Ramsey, Alden Smith, and Telvin Smith. We'll take a look at quarterback sacks. Eric Armstead had one, Ray Ray Armstead had one, and Aaron Lynch had one. Interceptions, Bradley Roby had one. Same with Ray Ray Armstrong. Phil Dawson was 0 for 1, but that's my fault. And uh, anyway, that's going to do it for this video, guys. We won 49-31 to in week number 10. Picked up Kevin Hogan and um, Hackenberg at quarterback and let go Kristen Ponder and Thad Lewis, so bringing in the young guns and starting fresh there until Dak Prescott comes back. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you could leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.